Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, today is the last Sunday of the liturgical year. It is the solemnity of our Lord Jesus Christ, King of the universe, and we have the great joy to honor the new blessed Joseph Ambrosoli. I extend my heartfelt greetings to all the faithful present here, the Archdiocese of Gulu and his Archbishop John Baptist Odama, and to the other brother bishops, to the clergy, the religious men and women, to the Comboni missionaries of the heart of Jesus with their general superior, Father Tesfaye Tadesse. In a special way, I would like to greet also the Diocese of Como with his Bishop, Cardinal Oscar Cantoni, and the Ambrosoli family. I greet, I greet also the civil authorities and the President of the Republic of Uganda. The Feast of Christ the King and the example of our blessed Joseph Ambrosoli offer us some inspirations for our Christian life. When proclaimed Jesus as a king, it is necessary to explain which kind of king he is. The kingly dimension of Christ is so important to evangelist Luke that it appears from the beginning to the end of Jesus' earthly life and accompanies his entire ministry. The Gospel now proclaimed presents Jesus on the cross. It appears without power that is divided by the world or by human glory. His throne is the cross. Jesus reigned his holy Lord of the Jewish world. He is the eternal and universal kingdom. It's a kingdom of truth and life, a kingdom of holiness and grace, a kingdom of justice, love, and peace. The leaders of the people, the soldiers, and the criminal, more Jesus, God of me in the same way. Say yourself. They ask Jesus not to accomplish the mission given to me by the Father, but to promote himself, to come down from the cross and to destroy his enemies. In the beginning of his public ministry, the day. Tempted Jesus to give up reigning in his world wills and then decided to reign according to the world's ways. Pope Francis said, This temptation it is a direct attack on love. Say to yourself, no others but to yourself. Let it for for yourself with your power with your glory, with, with your, your victory. It is the most, the most terrible temptation, the, the first and the last of the gospel. He continues to love, he forgives, he lives with this moment of trial according to the Father's will, certain that love will be. Jesus is a king who comes to the same. He told to the first of all who believe when the cross near me. Today you will be with me in paradise. The first thing that awaits the consecration of the day and the sealing of Israel. In this kingdom, we became the symbol of the kingdom of peace and justice, 
and to become the Lord of our hearts. We are called to follow his example of love, humility, donation until the passion and death at the resurrection for the salvation of all. <coughs> the new blessed offers a great example of a person who did not look to his own interests, but his life was completely and tireless giving given for the healing of wounds and bodies and souls of the needy as a priest and a doctor. The apostolic letter of Pope Francis presents him as a good Samaritan we are invited to consider the heroic virtues of the new blessed Giuseppe Ambrosoli, faith, hope, charity, humility, goodness, patience, generosity, spirit of service, sense of duty, availability. According to all the people who knew him, he was extraordinarily humble. He accomplished in his life what he proclaimed with his lips. God is love and I am his servant for the people who suffer. He, he combined faith and charity throughout his life and he took care of souls to caring of the physical ailments of the body, bodies. He wrote on the day of his priestly ordination that he intended to be throughout his life a mirror both to nature is to reflect on others the splendor of the divine light he had received. Completely immersed in the love of God, his every human, professional and priestly attribute would reflect God's closeness to all people, but especially to those in pain and suffering. Only two months had passed since his ordination, and yet by the end of February 1956, Giuseppe was already in Calongo. Here with him 
a great chapter of the gospel of charity begins, 31 years of missionary service spent in the shadows of this mountain and this church on the side of this hospital. In Kalongo, the sick converged from many corners of Uganda, and even from other countries. Many are those who returned to their places to of origin, healed in their bodies and in their spirits. Father Ambrosoli was famous as doctor, but he reacted with great detachment to such a claim and was always careful to emphasize that it is not his fame which should prevail, but rather the glory that was due to God. He, he wrote to strive to seek in my work the glory of God and the good of souls, and at the same time to strive to be humble, dodging honor, and consider it, it right that success is always a grace from God. Indeed, Blessed Ambrosoli was the first to recognize that the great achievements reached in Kalongo would not have been possible without the generous, generous enthusiastic, and skilled participation of many women and men moved by the example of Jesus Christ. People wondered how he managed all this, where he found the strength. He was a man of prayer. The reason of such firmness, commitment and availability had its own source in the prayer he used to raise in the early and late in the night under a sky. Here has, are his own words. We have to enter the circle of the Trinity and breathe with two lungs, contact with the Lord in the Eucharist and through selfless service to the sick. So for Father Ambrosoli, there were two altars in Kalongo, the altar of the Eucharist and the operating table. Just as there are his two and holding the host and ministering to a patient in need of care with the same reverence and respect. With his proverbial smile on his lips, he was always serene in his attitude and rich of Christian hope also in the troubles. He suffered personal health problems and he faced many difficulties and challenges in accomplish his mission. After so much dedication and fatigue, in 1982, Father Giuseppe's health began to deteriorate. When a violent army conflict was raging in the Acholi land, he assisted everyone. When he right the order to leave the mission and abandon the hospital, his words to his fellow missionaries were heartening courage. This is the moment in which one must understand why we are come here. On Friday, 27th of March, 1987, he fell asleep in the Lord, offering his body and soul to him whispering, Lord, may your will, be al will always be done. The hospital of Kalongo and the school of midwives was his life and they are his monument and legacy. This legacy has to continue and also grow with the collaboration of all. The solemnity of Christ the King is also the celebration of the World Day, Youth Day in the local churches throughout the world. The theme of the message of the Holy Father for this year is Mary arose and went with Harry. 
the youth can find an extraordinary model in the Blessed Giuseppe. As we honor Blessed Giuseppe Ambrosoli, we turn our hearts to Jesus Christ, King of the universe, as we acclaim him as our Lord and Savior. Blessed Joseph Ambrosoli, pray for us. Amen. We we point my keyboard that the leg of my dear. Omega na kilo omega na i Cristo. Tin Dominica me agitki me mwara pa Ecclesia. Ma wakweri ye Dominica pa ruat wa Jesu Cristo. Ruat me lo bokolo. Tin wamio yom twin ki war ma dit ma da pe ngum kom Joseph Ambrosoli achwalo mor ma dit ma aki ko twina ki kome bor lu ye du ju magitikan bor la dit ach bishop John Baptist Odama, my entire la quad madid me gulu archdiocese, but umegi nelo piscope duju magitikan padi lodini choki mon lumdul me komboni missionaries me aduno maleng pa Jesus Christo la dit ma megi padre. Tes fayeta dese. Kidong makara duju. Amiro chualo mota. But Bishop Cardinal Oscar Cantoni. Ma aki diocese me komo. Kidong amoro tutuan. Lopayo pa Dr. Ambrosoli. Ke ludiro. Lutidmiri. Luchwe wibie, me Uganda, Chimakaro, President, me Uganda, Ladid Lobo. Nia Matini, Dominica, me Christ the King, Parwadwa Yesu Christo, Nyotiwa Gien Mapiere Tech, Dr. Ambrosoli, Malagumkom, Machalo, Ngat mamiro ilchini wa malo ikuwa wa machalo luye lo Christo. Evangeli mawan wa winyo tin. Tie kanyoro kama nei Yesu Christo. Machalo ruot iwi ataria. Nenchalo ngat mape kikero ikirpadano. Dark day of pay come. Ikir padano. Yada. Yesu Christo. Kene ono pere. Water ono bene pe. Ento. En kene. Aye. Mekelo. Ada. Kikuo. Doke. Makelo. Kuo maleng. Kigracia. Ngon mati ma kikuj. Lutera paluak achekere. Kachien kila bala chien ma kiguru Yesu Christo kwede. Gubero kangale magichaye dogu penyo Yesu ni miro ukerde kome kekere. Ukato kwaro lo pin kiwi ataria work and uban tero palumone 
Yada Yesu Kristo. Ya chaki meti cheki nwa. Eno no atama tama madit mapewache. Mabene tie machalo. Aria iko miri paroba. Ikir mela arodano. Dari yada kir ma papa Francis Owadu kwere iwara gane man ubero atema tema madit kilwen ikom tero kideo paroba mamiro Yesu Kristo uken Yesu Kristo eno biro machalo ruot dok ruara da malaro dano iwi ataria eno nyoro kama nei bon la kuoma ngor pibale ni ada en rot malaro dano we wa ju bor kama nei ni tiena tiena wan wa beru kweri ideyo mepolo ikwan me achien wan wa winyo lok ikom Kien maki wiyer kwere Dawudi wero be ruot pa lu yuda jo Israel man tie la nyot madit ikom ke kitela pa Yesu Kristo ke paroba mekuch king on mati ibilo boduju dan ma pon go ber katamoni en Yesu Kristo Uno bibino kamio ke manyen ikir pa dawiri kikome ento ke pa Yesu Kristo no pat dano gupenyo magi wajo di mana yedu kar mono moromo medwa ko ke pa dawiri che uno peati ikwan mario paulo maleng kuonyo wa Lok ma pire te ni roba won u biro kala arwa ki ilot mechol pin dok me kwanya wa woro mechero ike meta pa wore ma mara ma i Yesu Kristo wan wa no la re me da we ko ban Lord ikom ban Yesu ena ye rot meloba da dok en tie ki tero ma miera tira ena ye ni tero mema lo Kristo lo ye duji kom Kristo ki lo wan me bedo chok ki Yesu Kristo dok me kwanyo yo ma Kristo unyoro borwa me aloba ma wachiro wangwa ikom en Kristo iwiataria ma era ye rod me lobo kolo lagum ko manyen matin wan wa kwero ni ki ino ma lo borwa wero nyot borwa kama nei Kwa mati me mire la bon olo me chan red me kom ki me chwin ki ma eno timo ma chano dakta iwara gane papa francis nyuro la gum koman ma nyen ma chano la samaria ma be miro wa kwany Kir pa la gum kom Ambrosoli Giuseppe Kwa me ye ma tut Gen ma pe yeng atata Kwa me ma mutum Buon ne atira atira Te kit Deo chwin Nywa ko kwa Kilo wadwa tutwa le magiti kichan me teach bodgi kare duju dog me bero 
ada era jaduju Didi mungkin memiden Mami jaden Madan mapun Gimoko ikwone En Unyuro Kidoge Niruba gira Dok en Itie Latij paruba Pijo magi chane Magi tie pao En oribo Lok ario mapigitego Kwa me ye Kwa me ma Pikwone Kulo Dok uguaro Tibu padano Uchiao Bene Red mekom Madano no giti kwede Ikare Maen Uno Sacramento Me orodini En uchoe lok Ma pire tek Maudon Ni kwone Miro ubed Machano maraya Manyuru Deo paruba Mema Maen kikome ino Piman Yada Ikalon Dano mapon Ikara maen Ubino imwa elfu achen Mia bongwen Njwia bichen Gubere Gubere ka word bore Kitwa Ma part part Nyo kana kain Wek gibin ginong Chao man Mekom kimetibo Ambrozoli Ubero dakta mu yue katira Ento Ututte Diwo ki dicheng Menyoro Deyo paruba Ikwone Dokbene Melaro Kwo pada Mekom kimetibo Ututte tutuan Doko kwo Machado ngad mabwane Ubero ka weyo Deyo Makimio bore Ikwo mewilo boman Yada Lagum kom ambrozoli Eno beru ngad ma chien Ikien mukene Meti mugena wura Mekonyo dano Yuma entuero Ubero kia rima mapewache Kidir ma entikwere Meneno ni Mon kicho Mapon Gukwanyo kuo pa Yesu Kristo Dano mukeno kubero ka ngeng tutuan Ikuone Pien nogineno Tero maaki bore Eno beru ngatma Uno maro lega tira Dok bene ngatma Uno petage Kauke meki pero Unyuro ni Idiero kuone ada Dok uno tia tera Kare duju Pitero ma eno Ki lega Metimo gen ma mete Waya gitine Kien maro ba miro Uwero eno wajoni, miro wadon ikuo patrinita maleng. Dokbene, ubo wa miro, ubed kabuke ki tero man. Mawano ki borward wa Yesu Kristo i eokrastia. Ada ambrozoli udiero kuone. La bon olo Waya gikine Imwara elfa chien Mia bongwen Kipiara boro wya rio Padre Giuseppe Kome udoko goro Yot kome udoko pin Udoko pin Pipero melwen Mauno tie Kikuru kuru Mano tie kany Uwero gen Gu awaro Ke i parish Nyo mission Mekalon Kachen 
ki ar yar kalo kere ber kumeno en u ber ki tek chwin dok bene u wajo ni miro ki niang ma be pitien nok ma wero gero no gitie ika ber man dok jame man tikati me Isia beach many of the people we are bero medwe ma de imwa elfa chen mia bongwen ki fiara bor we are bero ero you e gire mod iruat ma u dier come ka chen ki tibone ma bero ka wajone duan ma muon ni ruat Wek mirni a yeo ti me. Or di ar kalon. Skul. Me ponyo. Lo de ero. Me chiolo. Tye ka nyoro kamaneng. Kuo. Palagum kom. Ambrozoli. Kir ma en. Unok tye kwede. Ki kome. Dongir ma mietre. Era yemen era ni rebe nyuaro tich u berotie pedano duju wer la kid day me kwoman u mede penara Dominica man pa Jesu Kristo ruad bene iglesia katolika kolo e wilobo u bero neno melega kachien kibulo u bero neno pa buru ki kome don lo baro pa papa tie imwagani ni maria wa malo chiu chero yot buru mero go kwan la nen me awura pa la gum kom giuseppe ambrosoli wa mi waro ki deo bot la gum kom giuseppe ambrosoli wa ilo chinwa bot jesu cristo ruot melo bokolo dak ben wa yero pire machalo ruot wa kila la wa la gum kom giuseppe ambrosoli lek pe wan Amen. Obero dong la ling wa lori kom lok parba. Chinge wa be waja waja lega me ye. Brothers and sisters, in obedience to the word of God, we renew the faith we received on the day of our baptism, committing ourselves to love God and our brothers and sisters in communion with the entire Catholic Church. I believe in one God, the Father.
brothers and sisters, let us raise with confidence our supplication to Christ, King of the universe, allowing ourselves to be inspired by the charity that shines in the example of blessed Giuseppe Ambrosoli. Oecha melega palo ye, cha man bene jomatiki tiege o chak mi yonel dong. Those who have their offertories, please you can slowly give them out as we offer our prayers to God. We pray for Pope Francis and the Universal Church, for the Apostolic Nuncio, Luigi Bianco, for bishops, John Baptist Odama, and Cardinal Oscar Cantoni, and the local churches of Gulu and Como, for the Komboni missionaries and the Komboni missionary sisters, for the little sisters of Mary Immaculate of Gulu, and for all consecrated men and women. We invoke God, dispenser of all charisms and ministries. Lord, hear us. For the government of Uganda, for all authorities and public institutions, for our cities, towns, villages, and their inhabitants, we implore God who protects everyone. Lord, hear us. Ambrosoli family alive or dead for having given to the Lord and to the actually people Father Ambrosoli that time I did with a good heart and a pure spirit we, in, we implore God the source of all blessings Lord hear us especially those who are hospitalized, for those wounded in their bodies and in their hearts, we implore God, the Father of all consolation. Lord, hear us. For those who care for the poor and the weak, for those who promote the voluntary sector and the culture of solidarity, for those who have asked us to remember them to the Lord, we implore God to help the poor. Lord, hear us. For vocations to priesthood, consecrated life, and holy marriage, we implore the Lord to give to young people a spirit of fortitude and of service, to commit themselves to work for the church and for the society. 
Lord, hear us. eternal rest of our departed brothers and sisters, especially those who've died through violence and wars, we invoke the God of life. Lord, hear us. charity of the priest blessed Joseph caused the, the church's mission of caring for the most needy to shine forth grant to his intercession and example that bearing witness to the gospel of salvation we may become instruments of your mercy to Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us be seated. Jo mago bicho ko tiewa bibero nurses maguru ko veil sano sisters ge ke bomb blue dulme aria o bibera lumina eno lutiano kwan machon me kalo midwifri maguru ko bongi pa sisters mano go o irwom pa nurses eleven enoni kidong jo me adek bibero montua Magitiki ribbon manyuru ni gen mi ergo gam tieni pay me tie bodnget ma mi pay me it's time for offer three three groups are going to collect our offer three the nurses the student nurses with veils alumina sisters in the level of the nursing training and montua with ribbon let us offer to god what he has given us
Kelo Iwialtari Mugati Kivini Tie Maloke Dogo Tie Mekom Christo Kikome Kom Kiremo Pa Christo We bring to the altar bread and wine that will become the body and the blood of Christ for our physical and spiritual nourishment. We offer also the gifts that God has given us, for without God we can offer nothing. Kono wangeuni raboruba wan bewa romo timugin mo. God has given us this gift, but the most important gift that God has given us is the gift of Himself, in the form of bread and wine. Mich matit maruba miwa ena yemich me kome ke kome. Kiremone Jalomat Dokcham Makwaro Tibua
The priest with the Shiboria, please come forward. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord As we offer you, O Lord, the sacrifice by which the human race is reconciled to you, we humbly pray that it may bring unity and peace to the world. And to the intercession of blessed Giuseppe Ambrosio, confirm us in our generous, generous dedication to you and to our brothers and sisters, to Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you anointed your only begotten Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, with the oil of gladness as eternal priest and king of all creation, so that by offering himself on the altar of the cross as a spotless sacrifice to bring us peace, he might accomplish the mysteries of human redemption and making all created things subject to his rule. He might present to the immensity of your majesty an eternal and universal kingdom, a kingdom of truth and life, a kingdom of holiness and grace, a kingdom of justice, love and peace. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim.
Christ, your Son, our Lord, may you accept and bless these offerings, these holy and amazing sacrifices, which we offer you firstly for your holy Catholic Church. Be pleased to grant her peace, to guard, to unite, and govern her, to bow to the world world, together with your servant Francis, our Pope, my brother, John Baptist, the Bishop of this Church, and me, your unworthy servant, and all those who, holding to the truth, and on the Catholic and Apostolic faith. Remember, Lord, your servants, and all gathered here, whose faith and devotion are known to you. For them we offer you this sacrifice of grace, or they offer it for themselves, and all who are dear to them, for the redemption of their souls, in hope of faith, health, and well-being, and pay their homage to you, the eternal God, living and true. In communion with those whose memory we venerate, especially the glorious ever-Virgin Mary, Mother of our God and Lord, Jesus Christ, and blessed Joseph, her spouse, you are blessed apostles and the martyrs, Peter and the Paul, and James, John, Thomas, James, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Simon and Jude, and all your saints. We ask that through their merits and prayers, in all things we may be defended by your protecting help. Bet of your whole family, and I have our days in your midst, in commandment to be delivered from eternal damnation and coming in the flock of those you have chosen. Be pleased, O oh God, we pray, to bless, acknowledge, and approve these offerings in every respect. Make it spiritual and acceptable, so that it may become for us the body and blood of our most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, he took bread in his holy and venerable hands and with haste raised it to heaven. To you, O God, his almighty Father, giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was handed, he took the chalice, his precious chalice, in his holy and venerable hands, and once more giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be proud for you and for many, forgive forgiveness of sins, do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. You proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the blessed passion and resurrection from the dead and the glorious ascension into heaven of Christ, your Son, our Lord, we, your servants and your holy people, 
offer to your glorious majesty from the gifts that you have given us, this pure victim, this holy victim, this post-text victim, the holy bread and the eternal life, and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to look upon these offerings with a serene and kindly countenance, and to accept them as once you were pleased to accept the gifts of your servant, Abel the Just, the sacrifice of Abraham, our father in faith, and the offering of your high priest Melchizedek, a holy sacrifice, a spotless victim. In humble prayer, we ask you, Almighty God, command that these gifts be borne by the hands of your holy angel to your altar on high, in the sight of your divine majesty, so that all of us who brought this participation on the altar, receive the most holy body and blood of your Son, may be filled with heavy grace and heavenly blessing. Remember also, Lord, your servants, who have gone before us with a sign of faith and rest in the sleep of peace. Grant them, O Lord, we pray, all who sleep in Christ, a place of refreshment, light, and peace. To us also, your servants, who those sinners hope in your abundant mercies, Graciously grant and share in the fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs, with John the Baptist, Stephen, Matthias, Barnabas, Saint Victor, Saint Bonio, the Blessed Blessed Giuseppe, and all your saints. Admit us, we beseech you into their company, not weighing our merits, but granting us your pardon through Christ our Lord. To whom we, you continue to make all these good things, O Lord. You sanctify them, fill them with life, bless them and bestow them upon us. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and forming by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but in Deliver us, o Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I give you, my peace I give you, 
look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Resuly grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. We don't Let's shake our hands, we just wave to each other the sign of peace. the Lamb of God, we all him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. For our communion, those who are prepared will receive. There will be priests coming where you are. You don't need to move. They will come and you will see them come right now. Omago you be seated now. May we pray the sacrament of the Eucharistia ubed kama tiye. Plus I said or tie bolo mugo ma peke ngolo nyime. O word o neung dano kama giti ye. Kuti don kiet mano onero be kere. Uku kom Kristo ke kama unu tie ye Dusa sedo timo Paul Ripeke Kristo inianoman mini wa gracia madir atira Wero wan bene wa bedo chalo lagum kom ambrosori Luwe wa bwero we meo karestia
as well as Danny for the Thanksgiving song.
Let us now recollect ourselves, having thanked God. Let us have a minute of silence before we move to the next. Obedo la ling, waluodo i kom sacramento, ma wano i kuawa. Let us now stand. Let us pray. Lord, you give us Christ, the King of all creation, as food for everlasting life. Help us to live by his gospel bring us to the joy to his kingdom and help us to imitate the example of blessed Giuseppe Ambrosoli who worked tirelessly for the good of your people. To Christ our Lord. Amen. Let's be seated. The next function is a concluding word of gratitude led by his grace our Archbishop, again, the Comboni missionaries, fathers and brothers, Superior General, and the delegated Mother General of the Comboni sisters, little sisters of Mary Maclet of Gulu, and a relative of Blessed Ambrosoli. May they come forward, please. Our main celebrant, co-celebrants, <laughs> fellow brothers and sisters, the laity, Your Excellency, the President of the Republic of Uganda, with all the ministers, all the various branches of the government, the members of the parliament, all invited from near and afar especially foot pilgrims, all parents, with the children, those often I call Bulu and Nginingini, the children in the hands of their mothers and the babies in the wombs. We are here to present a vote of thanks. First, to God. Second, to His Holiness, the Pope. Pope Francis, 
represented here by his delegate, the Apostolic Nuncio to Uganda. To our president for honoring this occasion by his presence. All the ministers, all the dignitaries, especially this needs to be mentioned, the Chief Justice of Uganda, all the clergy, the religious, and our friends from outside Uganda. The choir, the choir. The security. The altar servers. Those who took part in the liturgy as dancers and the gifts. We are very grateful to you for honoring and being present on this occasion while blessed Father Dr. Ambrosoli is being enlisted among the saints in heaven. He is our representative now. When we have needs, we go through him, say, Ambrosoli, we know you. You are a part of us. You are our flesh. Why don't you plead to the Almighty for our needs? For example, right now, Uganda is battling with the terrible virus called Ebola. Dr. Ambrosoli, blessed, will this defeat you to ask the Lord to say, Ebola, stop. So that the people of Uganda are healthy and they move freely. Let also COVID-19 disappear in Uganda. We also extend to you our prayer. Plead, please, for the war that is going on between Ukraine and Russia. Those are our brothers and sisters. They're of your flesh and your blood too. You can plead to God to say, Hey, hey, you are my image. Why do you fight? Stop. God can do that as you are very near to him to say those words. For the rest, fellow brothers and sisters who have come to glorify God on the day of the Christ the King and also to honor our brother, blessed Father, Dr. Ambrosoli, may you have very peaceful end of the year 2022 and enter the year 2023 safely. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, Your Grace. Right now, what follows is we are going to have the final blessing. After the final blessing, two exercises will take place. There will be introduction of the bishops who have come to celebrate with us, including Bishop-elect. 
And after that, we shall hear a few words from people who are to speak. There are not very many, so we will not stay long. And once it's finished, concluded by His Excellency, then that will conclude our session today. I hand now to my colleague, Father Paul Rome. Let us stand for the final blessing. Wa ayumalo pigamo mukicha mea gike. As representative of His Holiness Pope Francis, it is my honor and pleasure to transmit to all of you his apostolic blessing, his pledge of abundant graces. The Lord be with you. Blessed be the name of the Lord, now and forever. Our help is in the name of the Lord. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Praise be Jesus Christ. Sia Lodato Jesu Christo. Eccellenza. Grazie. Grazie di cuore. Presto celebrazione. Siamo contenti che uno di noi, un esempio grande, sta davanti al Signore. Grazie mille per questa celebrazione. O poi Matek, nunzio mautelo wa in misa man maling, o mio uno poch bot nunzio mautelo wa in lega man. O mini wa mo kicha madit, machalo la wang papa ikien wa. Thank you very much. The Apostolic Nuncio to Uganda representing the Pope in this celebration. Let us give him again a mighty eclab. With the Nuncio, we have had some bishops who have been present with us. And the first one is Wongang, Archbishop John Baptist Odama. Your Grace, thank you very much. Thanks to His Grace, John Baptist Odama, who has been very closely monitoring this celebration until today. Thank you, Your Grace. We have the Bishop of uh, Arua, Right Reverend Sabino Chano Dore. Welcome home. We have Bishop uh, Damiano, Bishop of Moroto. Bishop, welcome. We have Bishop Filippi, Emeritus Mekotiro, Bishop of Oye Matak. We have Bishop Sanctus Uanok, Bishop Meliera. Bishop, thank you for coming home. We take a Bishop Waurad, Minnevi, Bishop of Oye.
Bishop Emeritus Meliera, Bishop Franzeli, Wajuli Gang. We have also Bishop elect, Bishop of Cotido, Bishop Dominic. You was welcome, Bishop Mekotido. Dominic, a bu ere Bishop Mekotido Maputi Yera Yera. Pia ke wiro ke luani Bishop Ayera, Bishop elect. Watiki Monsignor Kauta, Secretary General of the Episcopal Conference of Uganda. Bishop Kauta, no Monsignor Kauta wa boy. Dogo chema no. Thank you, Monsignor Kauta. We have the Monsignor representing various uh, bishops here. If you are a Monsignor, we welcome you and thank you very much. I'm not going to mention your names now. And all our priests, thank you for grazing this uh, occasion. Please, please stand up. What are you doing? Wow, Malo Party. Dano Miro Nenu, Una Yellow Pok Sacramento, Dog Miro Dog Maleng, Chalam Bruzoli Bene. Let us, let us give a mighty clap to our priests. He can give an anti decon, decon wafoyu, decon ke wiro ke mekon yo lupiscope kilo sachero, decon wafoyu. Thank you, decons. We also want to acknowledge uh, the presence of the religious and their superior generals i'm not going to list all the religious around please sisters please stand up and we acknowledge your presence there are also religious brothers we thank you very much and their superiors brothers thank you very much And all of you, the faithful of Christ, we acknowledge your presence. The other political dignitaries will be acknowledged by those who are supposed to acknowledge them. But there is one thing that we are not going to postpone. We need also to acknowledge the presence of His Excellency, Yuweri Kaguta Museveni, the President of the Republic of Uganda. Your Excellency, thank you for being present in this occasion. Wapoyo matek la dir lobo. Wapoyo bino. Dano matika chero kong oku. Watika nera dano tika wot gia odong. Ko oku peo chet kamo. Dong bere wa miero jole kinwa. Bishops mapat pat magu a ki idini mukene no church me Uganda ki bishops mapapat when kamoti ye oa we luaro jolu wa poe matek on pewa miro twal lo lok o chat mabo to twan we don't want to prolong this moment we want to thank everyone. In fact, we should not be thanked for coming to pray, but we do it for formality that we thank you for your presence, but your presence is for your own good. So thank yourself and don't say I was not thanked. I better pay Mega don't get kakany, don't want donyo, ilok, machego chego. Professor Calisto will help us in this matter. May I now invite the Vicar General? Monsignor Matthew Dong to come on behalf of the organizing team to speak.
Gifo Yesu Christo. Gifo Yesu Christo. Our main celebrant is Excellency the Apostolic Nuncio to Uganda, Luisi Bianco. Our chief guest is Excellency Yuweri Kaguta, President of the Republic of Uganda. His Grace, Dr. John Baptist Sudama, as Bishop of Gulu. All the bishops present, my brothers, the priests, religious men and women of consecrated life, the dignitaries in your respective capacities, all the pilgrims, all the pilgrims who have come for this important occasion. I stand here on behalf of the Central Organizing Committee who was charged by His Grace, the Most Reverend Dr. John Baptist Odama, to plan to organize this special day. My message to you today is found on the magazine God's Suffering, God's Servant to the Suffering People on page 22 so that I don't take much time on this. However, let me just say this. The success of this day is due to the prayers, financial and material support from all people of goodwill. In a very special way, I would like to thank His Excellency Yoweri Kagota Museveni, President of the Republic of Uganda, for the financial support he has given to the Archdiocese for this occasion. Thank you, Your Excellency, for your generous consideration. As the Central Organizing Committee, we could not do mass without your intervention. Thank you once again. Let us give a big applause again to His Excellency, the President. As we listened in the homily of the nuncio this morning, in the Catholic Church, when one is beatified or canonized, it is a declaration that the person practice heroic virtue and that the person live in fidelity to God's grace. This is according to the Catechism of the Catholic Church. Thanks to the heroic witness of charity of Father Dr. Blessed Joseph Ambrujoli, the component missionaries of the heart of Jesus Christ. Let us give a big applause to him. As our Archbishop said, Blessed Joseph Ambrujoli is our intercessor now in heaven. When we go to go through him, for sure God will listen to our prayer. Lastly, I'd like to thank each and every one of you, the subcommittees. I'd like to thank you wholeheartedly for your dedicated commitment which made this celebration a big success. Many of us, many of us were worried in the last one week how the weather would be. 
how the weather would be. You can see today that is a beautiful weather. And I think this is another miracle that Dr. the Blessed Ambrujoli has done. Choir and members of the COC, please, I ask you not to go away today. We shall pray tomorrow at 7 o'clock in the morning and sit and make the, a review of how it has gone today. Then later on, we proceed to our destinations. Please don't go away without taking some water for today. And when that time comes, may God bless you abundantly and travel with you through the powerful intercession of blessed Joseph Ambrujoli. Thank you. Thank you very much, Monsignor Matthew. I now have the honor to invite the Superior General of the Company Missionaries, Fathers and Brothers, to say a few words. Thank you. Your Grace, Monsignor Luigi Bianco, Apostolic Nuncio and Papal Delegate for the Beatification of Blessed Giuseppe Ambrosoli, Your Excellency, the President of the Republic of Uganda, Your Grace, Archbishop John Baptist Odama, Archbishop of Archdiocese of Gulu, Your Lordships, the Bishops present, priests and religious, honorable ministers and other government officials, religious leaders from other churches and religious leaders of all faiths present here and pilgrims from all over Uganda and from the different parts of the world who are present here with us. I speak on behalf of the Komboni missionaries and I want to thank the Lord with you. We are grateful to God for this great day when our fellow Komboni missionary Father Giuseppe Ambrosoli is beatified. We thank the parishioners and the people of Kalongo for having helped, having welcomed the idea of having the beatification here in Kalongo where Blessed Joseph Ambrosoli served for years and where he rests among his people. We the Kumboni missionaries are grateful that His Grace Archbishop John Baptist Odama and the local church in the Archdiocese of Gulu agreed to the idea and did the necessary steps to officialize the decision to have the beatification be done in Kalongo. We are grateful to the Archdiocese for all that has been done to make this historical event as colorful as it is. We thank the Vatican Dicastery for the cause of saints for the work and discernment invested in the cause for the beatification of Father Giuseppe Ambrosoli. We commend the dedication of Father Arnaldo Barituzio, our postulator general, who worked day and night for many years so that Blessed Joseph Ambrosoli be beatified. I ask you to clap for our postulator general. We thank those who have helped him, in particular the Archbishop of Gulu, the Vicar General, Monsignor Matthew Dong, the Archdiocesan Postulator of Gulu, Father Joseph Okumu, the Provincial Superior of uh, the Komboni Missionaries in Uganda, and also Father Cosimo de Yako, who uh, lately came and helped, and the of uh, Kalongo, Father Ramon Vargas, and the whole community and the Komboni missionaries and the sisters, little sisters of Mary Immaculate and the parish council. We thank, we are grateful to the Komboni missionaries who are present here from different provinces. We have uh, Komboni missionaries who came from South Sudan with their provincial, from Germany with their provincial, from Egypt, Sudan with their provincial, from South Africa, the incoming provincial. We have uh, people from Congo, Komboni missionaries from Congo, and we have, of course, Komboni missionaries working here in Uganda. 
We are greatly indebted to Mr. Mrs. Giovanna Ambrosoli and the family of Blessed Ambrosoli and the Dice of Como and the Friends of Calongo from Italy with whom we celebrate in communion of prayer. We can clap for them in their absence. Today is a special day for all of us in the Comboni family. It is a great day for the church in Uganda and particularly in the Archdiocese of Gulu where many missionary and local bishops, priests, sisters, brothers, catechists, and lay ministers have served God and the people of God. We are celebrating the beatification of Father Giuseppe Ambrosoli in communion with the family, with uh, the local church of the Diocese of Como, its pastor, his eminence, Oscar Cardinal Cantoni, and the entire diocese. We have a lot to learn from Blessed Ambrosoli. We celebrate him today as a hero of Christian faith and missionary service. We Comboni missionaries and the whole church today promise to commit ourselves to learn something from the life of Blessed Joseph Ambrosoli and make it a reality of God's grace in our life. Once again, thank you to all of you and may the prayers of Blessed Ambrosoli help us all. Ofoyo Matek. Thank you. Let us now listen from the delegate of the Mother General represented here. Your Excellency, the President of, Ugan of the Republic of Uganda, Eureka Guta Museveni, Your Grace, Monsignor Luigi Bianco, Apostolic Nuncio of, Uga of Uganda, his Grace the John Baptist Odama, Archbishop of Gulu, my Lord Bishops, Monsignors, Most Reverend Father Tesfayeta Dese, Superior General of the Comboni Missionaries, Father Achilles Kiwanuka, Superior, Com Provincial Superior of Uganda Province, respectful representatives of the Uganda government, civil and political dignitaries, Dear confreres, sisters, lay people of the Combonian family, priests, religious, and all the people of God, felicitations felicitis, felicis, and greetings on these joyful occasions. I would have liked to be present in person to celebrate with you and together thank the Lord for the gift of Father Giuseppe Ambrosoli for the good love and healing the Lord has shared through his humble missionary priest and doctor, and for having made him a simple instrument of his love and care for humanity, for the people of Uganda in particular. Be sure that even if I am far, geographically speaking, I am present with you in spirit, so are my counselor and all the Comboni missionary sisters. Yes, today is a day of deep joy for the church in Gulu and in all of Uganda as this son of Comboni, faithful servant of God, Father Giuseppe Ambrosoli, is honored by God through the church which recognizes in his humble service as priest and doctor, a life given over to God in dedicated service to his brothers and sisters. No doubt, St. Daniel Comboni is also rejoicing in heaven today as he recognizes one of his own sons who followed his path of making common cause and of living that total availability to others, we can hear echo in the life of blessed Giuseppe Ambrosoli of the life project of Comboni. Come day, come night, come sun, come rain, I shall always be ready to serve your needs, the rich and the poor, the healthy and the sick, the young and old, masters and servants will always have equal access to my heart. 
Your good, will, your good will be mine, and your sorrows shall be mine. I make a common cause with each one of you. Father Giuseppe Ambrosoli, throughout his life, nourished and lived a deep love of Je for Jesus and his brothers and sisters, receiving from the Eucharistic presence the strength to assist and help the most fragile people. He was a man of welcome and generosity, rich in charity and love, with a strong and deep Christian mind and heart. He was for all those he met, the good news of the merciful God. May the joy and the happiness of this day be for the faithful of Uganda and for the Comboni family an opportunity to reflect and to renew our commitment to giving over our lives to the Lord in the joyful service of our brothers and sisters. May we all imitate his commitment to the people, his passion and generosity, his vision and courage, his sense of God. May blessed Giuseppe Ambrosoli intercede for us and inspire us to put the mission of, at the heart of all we do. On behalf of my council and indeed of all this, my sisters, I assure you of our prayers for all of you here present, for your families and for Uganda that Father Ambrosoli loved so much. May God bless you, unite with you today and always, Sister Amari Quig, Superior General. Let's clap for the Superior General. Now we have two words from a priest speaking on behalf of the Diocese of Como, Don Bianchi. Monsignore Nunzio Apostolico, Monsignore Vescovi, mi permettete qualche parola in italiano. Però lo devo proprio dire, non sostituisco il mio vescovo cardinal Oscar Cantoni che non ha potuto venire perché in questi giorni sta uscendo il documento ufficiale dell'undicesimo sinodo diocesano. Ma quello che volevo dire è che dall'inizio degli anni Ottanta io sono andato con vari volontari sempre in Caramogia e il beato Giuseppe Ambrosoli per radio mi diceva ma insomma vieni almeno una volta anche a Calongo e se trovo qualche, qualcuno che mi porta vengo e non sono mai riuscito ad arrivare a Calongo soltanto quest'anno anche perché Monsignor Guzzetti Monsignor Giuseppe di Cotido mi hanno sostenuto sono venuto ripeto ad esaudire quella richiesta che il padre Ambrosoli mi faceva prima che morisse all'inizio degli anni Ottanta. Padre Ubero Cacchello Lorpa, Bishop Me Como, Bishop Medaises, Blessed Ambrosoli. Ma Anna Wajani, Bishop Peo Romobino, Pienene, Tie Cacciaco. Sinod me apara chel me daise se chidong eno ribo wa uripe kwedwa kachel ilegaman. The representative of the Bishop of Como communicated to us that his bishop, even if he cannot substitute him, did not come because right now he's preparing an official document for the 11th Synod of his diocese. And therefore, 
He has not been with us, but he has been praying to, together with us and has the great desire to come to Kaloa where Blessed Ambrosoli has lived. Thank you, Father, for that message. Now we are having a small exercise here. There will be to later and the Kombon missionaries here. On this wonderful occasion of the beatification of Father Joseph Ambrosoli, as postulator of the cause of canonization, I would like to express a deep appreciation to the main celebrant, the Apostolic Nuncio, His Grace Luigi Bianco, to thank him for presiding over this memorable, memor memorable celebration today. I take the opportunity of requesting His Excellency to convey to the Holy Father, Pope Francis, our depths of gratitude for approving the process that led to the beatification here in Calongo of, Ble of Blessed Joseph, and for appointing His Nuncio in Uganda to ofi officially represent him and this solemn ceremony. I would also like to take the opportunity of expressing deep appreciation to the two Episcopal concelebrant to his left and his right. The right is Grace, the Archbishop of Gulu, John Baptist Logama, and his Lord, the Bishop of Sabino Odoki. As a token of my debt of gratitude, I would like to present the main concelebrants with two small boxes, one scarlet in color, con commemora commemorative medal of this event, the image of Blessed Joseph, on the front of the image uh, of the Ambrosoli Memorial Hospital in Calongo on the back. This one in the front, the other one in the back. And uh, the other white containing a relic exosibus. A little of bond uh, over the new, newly beatified Joseph Ambrosoli. Yes. So now they are going to give to the main celebrant, the Archbishop and the Bishop Sabino. to present a commemorative medal and a relic, relic of Blessed Joseph to Lucy Lomokol, the Karimojong mother, who was miraculously cured after the invocation of Father Ambrosoli. Dr. Eric Dominic Wu from the Hospital of Milan in Central 
Caramoja was inspired to have the intercession of Father Ambrosoli invoked by all the present in the room where Lucy lay dying from septic shock. I would also like to acknowledge with deep gratitude the presence here today at His Excellency, the President of Uganda, Yoweri Kaguta Museveni Tibwabuhua. <laughs> May God bless you, sir, and protect Uganda. I know that His Grace, the Apostolic Nuncio, will convey to the Holy Father the greetings of good wishes of His Excellency the President in Rome. Okay. I would further, further like to acknowledge with sincere gratitude the presence here today of the Superior General of the Combonis Missionaries, Father Tespaia Gabrasilas Yetadesse. The Superior General of the Little Sisters of the Immaculate Mary of Gulu, Sister Grace Asiro. The provincial of the Comboni Mission is in Uganda, Father Kiwanuka Kills Kazosi. The provincial of the Comboni Sisters in Uganda, Sister Luigina Frison. The Vicar General of Archdiocese of Gulu, Monsignor Matthew Odon. And the parish priest of Calongo, Father Ramon Alberto Vargas. Again, a token of appreciation, I would like to present with a commemorative medal and the relic of Blessed Joseph to representatives of the parish community of Calongo. representatives of the medical staff of the hospital. Representatives of the hospital. I know they are very busy all over. Two representatives of the school for midwifery. The school of the midwifery. Oh, good. Yes. Good. 
at the end, the postulator of the cause of canonization of the former bishop of the Diocese of Guru, Monsignor Angelo Negri, Father Joseph Okumu. You clap for Father Okumu, our postulator in the diocese. Sí. And Father Cosimo De Iaco, who has played a crucial role in the preparation of this moving ceremony on this, the solemnity of our Lord Jesus Christ, King of the Universe. It's not here. Okay. I finished. My, my blessed Joseph Ambrosoli, protect these our brothers and sisters in position of authority, all their communities, and all of us present here on this grace, the feast in his honor. Amen. Amen. May I take this opportunity to inform you of the following gifts to be presented to the following people. First, to His Holiness the Pope. Second, to the Nuncio, the family of Dr. Ambrosoli, Bishop of Como, the Home Diocese of the Blessed, Superior General of the Comboni Fathers, and sisters, brothers, Dr. Ambrosoli Foundation, Italian Ambassador to Uganda, the President of the Republic of Uganda, and Honorable Lucia Kelo, Guru Archdiocese, Dr. Ambrosoli Memorial Hospital, Kalo, and the Chairman, Centralizing Committee. On that note, therefore, may I request the Gifts Committee to draw nearer to where the Archbishop is, and then you accompany him together with the postulator to take the gifts to His Excellency, the President of the Republic of Uganda. Kiyong Chuin Madit, Kombe di Kitika Tero Mich, Ma Jo Magutika Doro, Kirme Mio Mich, Gitie Kawat Kachel Kiladit Archbishop, Ki Postulator, Matika Konya Wa. Wafoya Tutuan, Wafoya Teach. Now, His Excellency the President is being given a gift by the postulator and the Archbishop and the Superior Generals of Comboni, Missionaries, Fathers and Brothers and Sisters. Now they are posing here for a photo. So it's also presented a portrait of Blessed Giuseppe Ambrosoli.
Now he is holding it and admiring it. So he is also given another portrait that has got the background of the parish and the church with the people in front dancing. Comedy, the dear Archbishop, postulator, Latera Pacomboni missionaries, Iwilobokulu, Ki postulator, Me Archdiocese Meguru, Ki Mother General, and Little Sisters, Representative Pacomboni missionaries, Gitika Dwogochen, Kadongo Okan, Mitch Kibi Pogone, Kirmana Nen, Uwen Yuwiati. Ingemeno, Wabi Wen Yuwiati, but Archbishop, Megulu Archdiocese, Mabilwo, Ladid Lobo, Melok Kedwan, Che Walor Bere, Yuwa Inir Matil. Now, we are about to finish. I just want to make sure, please, let's be calm. Just relax. We are about to finish. Comedy, the Archbishop, His Grace John Baptist Odama, will invite His Excellency the President of the Republic of Uganda to address us. Your Grace, you are most welcome. Our Chief Representative of the Pope here present and all my brothers and sisters, I have the honor and the privilege to invite His Excellency the President of the Republic of Uganda who has honored us in attending this very historic event, Your Excellency, I request you to address your people. Hello, hello, you can hear me? Uh, His Excellency, the, the Papal Nuncio, His Grace, the Archbishop Baptist Sodama, all the other bishops, his Lordship, the Chief Justice, and all the ministers and uh, members of Parliament, and Minist the and the one I <laughs> Ministers, members, Is my assurance correct? Namanisha nyinyi wote. Watu wote. Ni damu wengi kabunia. Apo yorubanga. I thank God. I am here to represent the government. Empty kind machala wangamente. 
on the day of the beatification of Dr. Ambrosioli. I want to thank His Holiness the Pope and the Church for recognizing the meritorious work, the special work of Dr. Ambrosioli. The, we the Africans have been here for four and a half million years since creation. Four and a half million years. Million and when? Now we had our beliefs or that the external religions started coming around 1840. That's when the first Muslim people came. And then the church mission and society, uh, Protestants, came 1877. And then Father Rodell and Brother Amans came 1879. Therefore, the Christian religion has been here for about 140 or 50 years. And the Christian religion of course, it also had bad people who were hypocrites. Like those who took slaves and so on. But in the majority, it had a good message and good workers. And the good message was is summarized in the two commandments. Love God with all your heart and with all your might. And love your neighbor as you love yourself. So the message is excellent. The message of Christianity is excellent. Love God and overcome selfishness. <laughs> now, it also has had good workers. Like, for instance, Dr. Ambrosieri. He spent a lot of time here. I have started reading what he was doing here. I was not aware before. Healing people. And also preaching the word of God. And he was in a, a remote place. And uh, he left comfort of his country, Italy. He was a qualified doctor, he could have worked there. But he came to work here. And there are other examples. So therefore, we salute the contribution of such wonderful workers. We are 
now and we, th we, we thank the church, we thank His Holiness the Pope for beatifying uh, Dr. Ambrosieri. I know this is an important step to the, to the, to the sainthood. Now, we, then we, we are all, many of us here are Christians. Now, in the Bible, it says, Let your light so shine before men. That they see your good deeds and praise your Father in heaven. In other words, inf influence people by a good example. And in another portion of the Bible, it says, We shall know them by their fruits. Not just what they say, but what they do. Now, we as Christians and other believers like the Muslims, we must overcome poverty, among other things. And I appeal to you, all of you, to get up and get work to get, to get out of poverty. And the NRM government has launched a campaign which you must have heard about. Of stopping teach me each keken. To make me for working for stomach only. Ah. That teach me each keken is not a good idea. That working for stomach only is a better idea, my bear. It is an uh, uh, idea machon. It is a uh, better whole idea. We want idea manyen. They want a new idea. The, the idea manyen is teach me each, but also teach me and saho the with new, the pocket. The new idea is you work for stomach and also for something in the pocket. Gimoy jeba. So that we get out of poverty. And we have guided you that if you have got a small piece of land, there are seven activities you can do which will give you good money even if you are on your, working on a small piece of land. First of all, have a plan of four acres. For acre one, if you can grow coffee, if coffee can grow, you grow coffee. Some parts of northern Uganda can grow coffee. Areas like Zombo, like Arua, like even parts of Guru can grow coffee, even parts of Lira can grow coffee. So, Eka Achel, you grow coffee. Eka Achel, Eka Ario, you grow fruits. Eka Mina Mario, the fruits which can grow are mangoes, oranges, and pineapples. Those can grow quickly. Now, acre number three, you grow pasture for the young may chak. The third acres, you can grow uh -huh. So that you have got a few cows in the in the shed. 
The government will assist you to get those cows if you are if you are you are interested. Then Eka, this is Eka Adek, Eka Angwen. You 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 do charm. You, you do food crop like cassava, for instance. The first acres, you can grow cassava. Then in the backyard, we recommend you 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 have chicken for eggs. The, the, these eggs are needed not only in Uganda but in other parts of the world. Then, if you are not Muslims, you can also look after pigs. So that is the the the, the fifth activity, the sixth activity. Now, finally, the, if you are near the water, like near Lake Choga, in the in the River Nile, even other streams in in, in the interior, you do fish farming. Because we, we can help you dig uh, 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 using the government machinery to, to do fish ponds. Now, these seven are the medicine for the people with small piece of land. We call this we call this intensive agriculture. Where you use a small area to get high value. But then there is also extensive agriculture. Where you can use those who have got more land can do other can do what we are saying here but also do other things. For instance, we have been working with Archbishop Odama on the issue of cassava. I have not done the, the chura to know how much you get per acre, per annum for the acre of cassava. But you heard I was recommending the cassava within the seven because you need food in your home. But cassava can also be grown as a commercial crop. Depending on the chura. On the, on, on the calculation. If you can get good money from one acre in a year, then it goes into the intensive agriculture. If not, in the extensive agriculture. Then you have got other crops like maize, like cotton, like uh, sugar cane, uh, those need to be done on a big scale. Big or medium scale. Ten acres, 100 acres or more. So, the, and the government is also going to help you with irrigation. So, this business of the drought and so on should not affect us again. Now, with that massive involvement, in commercial agriculture by everybody, all the households. 
Kaptiro Capito, Cham, you teach me, 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 no chante, you may be a chara. We'll create, create a lot of production. Which needs to be sold within Uganda, but also in the region and internationally. And to be processed. In factories. Now, once the homesteaders have money, they have food. The churches will, will, be, will be prosperous because, because the Christians will give more support. The homesteads, of course, will be better off and the government will get more taxes. So, this is the appeal I want to make on this occasion. Dr. Ambrosori sacrificed so much, so far from home, in the area he was qualified in, in the area of medicine. And we are here celebrating him. How can we fail to, to look after our own families? Because here I'm not saying you go to Italy and become a missionary. No, no, no. I'm simply saying chase poverty from your home. If Dr. Ambrosiri, by example, could go so far away from home and, and work so hard, how about us just working in our compound here? I read that when Dr. Ambrosiri was here, of course there was a rebellion here. And then he moved to, to Lira. That's where he died from a natural cause. That there was some confusion between the, 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 the hospital and the army. I think this was just a lack of coordination. Because if we had been told we would have handled this, although there was a rebellion, it could have been, could be, could have been handled uh, uh, much better. Because I was in touch with Cardinal Subuga and other uh, priests like Father Lafram of Bukaramuri. So the, 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 that confusion is very much regretted. It was not necessary. So I thank all of you for coming in big numbers and for inviting me. Rubanga, bless you. But thank you very much. Uh, Your Excellency, we have His Highness Rod Unem David Achana the second with us. The did Rod was for your Bino Matera Dada. The people of Agago, they have sent me a message here that they love you so much and they want to see you in ballot paper 2026. This is the paper I have here with me. in reverse order.
which is okay because we have yeah. arranged that. Thank you so much, Your Excellency. The church is requesting for a group photo with the clergyman and the representative of the family members of Dr. Ambrosoli. From where? From where? Will he come this way? From where? Can you move it? Let me move down. Let me Uganda. Ladies and gentlemen, Levickson brings you the Genesis Concert! On 26th November 2022 at Kololo Airstrip, come and celebrate gospel music as we take you through the Genesis featuring Tickets are 20,000 shillings, VIP tickets are 50,000 shillings, and a table of 10 are 2 million shillings. And the first 1,000 people who buy a ticket via MTN Mobile Money will get a discount of 5,000 shillings on each. Don't forget, people with disabilities enter for free. Livingston Live in Bear the Genesis Concert is brought to you by Plascon, Fenon, Coca Cola, Maestro Studios.